How you doing, guys? My name is Eric. Welcome to Edible Eric Eats. Today, we're talking salsa. Everyone loves a good fresh salsa. It's super easy, super straightforward. So today, I'm gonna show you a quick, simple grilled corn salsa. So stick around and learn with me. We're gonna make a grilled corn salsa. I like to leave the ends on, just to use as a handle. We're gonna dice up an onion. Next, we're going to dice up a red pepper. Lastly, we're going to we're going to split this serrano pepper, take the seeds out, and we're going to mince this up. Cilantro, we're just gonna shift a nod. Got a nice ratio of charred to non-charred pieces. This looks just about done. Corn's looking good. We're gonna pull it off. Our corn is off the grill. Now we're gonna take it off the cob. This is why I keep this on there so I can hold on to it. Pro tip, whenever you're taking corn off the cob, do it under a tray like this. So as it falls, it stays pretty much in there. It's not flawless, but better than chasing around a hundred little kernels. I don't go too far because I don't want to touch the metal with my knife, and then I just go like this. So there we have our corn. So now to finish this, super easy. We're just gonna put everything together. Uh, we got our corn, break it apart a little bit, so it's not big chunks. So this is a Grilled corn salsa. The main ingredient, the primary focus, should be the corn. When I make a salsa, I like to make it in a ratio like this to keep the primary ingredient the focus. So I'll do, you know, all my corn, and then I'll do maybe 25% red pepper. Another 25% the uh, poblano. When you're making a salsa, you can put whatever you want in there. You could, you know, you could put, you know, one onion. Don't put onion. If you want um, jicama, use jicama. So I put about 25% onion. I'm gonna put all the serrano because I don't have much. I only have one and I don't mind a little heat. And I'm gonna put all the cilantro as well. So now we're gonna hit it with some sherry vinegar. We want a good quality sherry vinegar and olive oil. I do this in about a three to one ratio of oil to vinegar. Now salt and pepper. So we're gonna toss it all together. Check the seasoning. So you can see the really vibrant colors that you get when you mix the fresh ingredients like this. The vibrant yellow, the vibrant red, the vibrant green, you know. You just, that's what you want a salsa to look like. It should look fresh, it should, it should look bright. The color shouldn't look muted, it shouldn't look matted. It's gonna look good on whatever you put it on. Tacos, enchiladas, whatever. This is delicious. I'm gonna get a little container, put it right down. So there you have our grilled corn salsa. Thank you for watching. Stay hungry and keep on eating. Hey guys, looking for more? Looking to up your cooking skills? Then be sure to click subscribe so you can follow me while I break down techniques, dish out succulent tips, and show you a variety of recipes for you to learn from so you can not only keep on eating, but eat deliciously. Check out some of the other videos I got for you guys to watch.